This project is from a client in the mining industry. They have come to us with a piece of code for a Schneider M340, which has previously been written for the site. The problem with the present system is that the memory used up by the PLC is far too large. So in terms of adding on to the program, there is not enough space at present for us to be able to add the required functionality. The way that we know that there's not enough memory for the existing program is Unity Pro will send an alarm if the memory usage is too high on the PLC, but before that we can check the memory usage by looking at the memory consumption from Unity Pro. The way we tell the memory consumption is from looking at the memory consumption entry in Unity Pro. So it gives a report based on the last built project. In order to determine the amount of memory that we needed and whether or not it would fit into the project, we had to estimate the amount of memory that the extension would use and then see if that overflowed the current memory on the PLC. Initially we thought that reducing the number of variables would reduce the memory usage. However, upon further inspection, we found that the function block instances are the main cause of memory consumption that we've seen. The easiest way to reduce this is to remove any of the unused function block instances, but we can also optimize the existing logic for troublesome function blocks to reduce the amount of memory that they use up. So far we found that by reducing the logic for one of the biggest offenders in terms of these function block instances, we have been able to reduce the memory to such a level that we can add in the entirety of the new program. However, there is a very small margin of error, so I am currently looking into if any more optimizations can be made, which can give us a higher margin of error. The best way to conserve memory is to reduce the number of function blocks that you use in your program. Ideally, if all function blocks are elementary function blocks, then this means that you won't increase your user memory consumption. If the system is proved to be running well and perfectly, assuming there's no memory issues whatsoever, except for that a lot of memory is being used, there are a couple of issues that you would have. One is that if you did want to add on anything new, you can't, you're putting yourself in a bit of a difficult position. But the other thing is that when you have so much memory being used up, you're going to have more likelihood of things getting confused between each other. It's, it's really just hurting yourself by not allowing yourself to easily change the code.